Is this the uh, answering service? Uh, uh, this is Julian Crane. I'd like to leave a message for Dr. Eve Russell. It's important. Well, well. Oh, I <laughs> Making a few phone calls, are we, Julian? I, uh, what did you hear exactly? Enough. You know, you once said that our battle of wills would come down to who found out whose secrets first. You were right. So you finally admit that you have a secret. <laughs> Not me, Julian. You. And I know what your secret is. You were involved with Eve Russell. Uh, Dr. Russell? I'm glad I caught you. Oh, Dr. Watts, I wanted to speak to you. You know, I was concerned about how quickly Charity was released. Dr. Russell, I assure you, she was perfectly fit to go home. How can you be so sure? She responded extremely well to the experimental drug I gave her. But what about possible side effects? The drug made her susceptible to suggestions, but that should wear off soon. And the, the visions that she was having? I doubt she'll have any more. Dr. Russell! I'm right here, sweetheart. <laughs> it's you! You're the one with Julian. You're making love to him. Why? Why am I seeing this? And no one knows what could have caused these visions. It's unlikely we'll ever know. As I told Mrs. Crane, since everything Charity claimed to have seen never happened, um, it seems clear that she doesn't have some form of ESP. Ivy Crane asked you about Charity's visions? Yes, she was wondering whether or not what a person said while hallucinating could be true. What did you tell her? I told her that one would need proof of the events in order to believe the patient's hallucinations. After all, we have patients here who talk to inanimate objects. One of them has in-depth conversations with a doll. Goes right back on if you act up again. You got me? When I'm sprung out of here and get my powers back, you'll see some acting up. I promise you that. Uh, uh, don't do anything you'll regret, lady. Is it a crime to want to read the newspaper? If it is, I'm guilty as charged. Prosecute me to the fullest extent of the law. May I? Screaming headlines. Girlfriend kills boyfriend. Murder in harmony. Blood on the steps. Nothing. Nothing. No, no grisly murder story. Oh, what happened? What went wrong? Timmy. Timmy, listen to me. Now, now listen to me and do as I say. As, as soon as you get a chance, go straight to charity and make sure that she follows my orders. Because, you know, uh, make sure that he dies at her hand. Uh, make sure that she kills him. I... Timmy. Could Timmy have failed his mission? No choice. Charity could never hurt Miguel. She couldn't do it. Jimmy knows she couldn't. Could she?
Who's on the phone with me? I couldn't sleep last night. All I could see was her in my head holding those scissors. Oh, no. Not this again. Charity was standing behind Miguel, holding the scissors over him while he was making the fire. I swear, if we hadn't come in when we did... Don't even think it, Kay. Charity, the psycho scissor slasher, that's a reach, even for you. It was like we were in a scene from Scream. I think you're being way too melodramatic here. Then what was she doing with the scissors? I don't know. Maybe Miguel asked her to get them. It looked like she was going to attack him, Simone. Or she was at least thinking about it. Okay, can I tell you what I think? I think you're just using another excuse just to get Charity locked up. Oh, okay, so I'm a liar? No, I didn't say that. Well, maybe you think I'm the crazy one. I admit, sometimes I wonder. Well, if I'm a liar, where are the scissors? What do you mean? They were right there on the table last night. But they're not there this morning, and they're not in the kitchen drawer. Miguel. Hey, Kay. What's up, Mom? Hey, Miguel. Is Charity up yet? Don't go near Charity. Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out. You keep me alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. <laughs> you. I have such a vivid imagination, darling. Unfortunately, it's working overtime. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. You did walk in on me calling Dr. Russell, yes, but I was calling on a hospital matter. Oh, really? Yes, as you know, the board meeting was postponed because Sam and Grace's niece went around the proverbial bend. And you were calling Eve because... Oh, uh, to find out if the meeting had been rescheduled. Well, I'm sure it has been. Yes, no harm in double-checking, is there? You know, Charity's been released from the psychiatric ward. Oh, so then it was nothing. Those visions and premonitions, they've stopped. Good. For now. Mm -hmm. Poor child. You know, I actually walked in on Charity in the middle of one of her hallucinations. Charity is having visions of us together being intimate. Serious visions. And she saw us arguing too. And you taking photographs of me. What? Oh, really? What was she hallucinating about? You and Eve. The girl really is insane. <clears throat> I don't think so. I think Charity has ESP. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> She was having a vision of uh, you doing something to Eve. And given your sexual peccadilloes, I'm sure whatever the poor thing saw horrified her terribly. She was going on and on about you and Eve and your past, and oh, what a past it must have been. I wonder what TC will do when he finds out about these previous indiscretions. Oh, I was paged earlier. Yes, who was trying to reach me? Julian Crane. Thank you. Do you remember when Chad said he saw the shoes of the woman that Julian met up with at the book cafe? Yeah, what about it? <sighs> Seems that he saw the same shoes on Whitney the very next day. She borrowed those same shoes from Eve. <laughs> TC, I'm, I'm sure it was just a coincidence. Chad seems to suggest that Eve was with Julian that night. I almost tore that boy's head off. I'm sorry. I just... I'm so worried about you, Miguel. I'm worried about Charity, too. It's okay. All right, you don't have to apologize. I know you're concerned about Charity. About how she's affected by that experimental drug they gave her and about her being in the psych ward. It's bound to affect her, don't you think? 
Actually, I've been thinking about it all night, and I think you're kind of right to be a little worried. I'm so glad you believe me, Miguel. I owe you, Kay. For what? For making me realize how difficult this must be for her. You know, how the whole situation affects her. I mean, she must be so worried, you know, thinking about how people are going to react to her being committed and everything. But that's not what I meant. I mean, I just want Charity to understand that, that we still think she's the same great person she's always been. No matter what. Totally. And that's where my surprise comes in. Surprise? Yeah. I'll be right back. I can't believe this, Simone. How can he still think that there's not something wrong with her? Because he doesn't think there is, and neither do I. Well, you're both wrong. I think she's going to try to kill him. I've got a warning. You can't tell him that now. But because you're not thinking straight now. If you go blurting things out to Miguel, you may blur out the whole bird statue story, how you used it to drive Charity crazy. Oh, my God. If Miguel ever found out about that, he'd hate you. Simone, you're the only person who knows about the bird statue. You'll never tell him, will you? No. I'm just telling you to be careful. Wait, and wait until Charity wakes up. See how she is then, and then you take it from there. They're so sharp. These could really hurt someone. My dream. Somebody was whispering to me. Telling me... Telling me to... Miguel. I have to see Miguel. To get out of here. But how? Think, Tabitha, think. will be making her round shortly. She's... No, 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 that won't do. I need to see a doctor now. What's wrong? We've got a problem. A patient's escaped. What room? 351. Oh, she must have slipped by me when I went in to check on her. I'll tell Nurse Topa to lock down all the exits. Okay, I, I'll get rid of this food cart and I'll be right with you. That you could actually believe the ravings of a lunatic teenager. Whatever she saw on her dementia is, is simply that dementia. None of it happened. Well, then why are you getting so upset? Upset? I'm upset. Offended is what I am. Well, why don't you just brush it off like you do everything else? Because these are serious accusations, Ivy. These are slanderous accusations, and I am warning you. You think twice before you repeat what you've told me here today. Don't worry, Julian. I know exactly what to do with this. There's no telling how T.C. would react if he would hear false rumors about Eve and me. He's a violent man who loathes me. His rage could bring down not only me, but this entire family, so you just keep your mouth shut. Mrs. Crane, is everything all right? Oh, it's fine. Mr. Crane looks so upset. Crane residence. Pilar? It's Dr. Russell. Yes, Dr. Russell. Uh, I'd like to speak to Julian, please. It's rather urgent. I'm sorry, you just missed him. Eve? It's Ivy Crane. Ivy. 
Yes, is there something I can help you with? I just, uh, I'm returning Julian's call. Oh, right, about rescheduling the board meeting, yes? Or was it in regard to something else? Whatever it is you're thinking, Ivy, you're wrong, so just drop it. I'll find out if Eve and Julian had a past. Believe me, I will. And if you do, what then? Will you seek revenge? No, no. All I'm trying to do is save myself and Ethan. So what do you think? They're beautiful, Miguel. Yeah, it's a nice surprise, right? It's great. Now, I just want Charity to see how much I care for her. You should do it. You know, I, I want her to know that no matter what happens, no matter what she's going through, that I'm there for her. What do you think, Kay? Do you think she'll like the flowers? It's very romantic, Miguel. I wanted you to have these, Kay. Oh, Miguel. For saving me from charity. I couldn't let her hurt you. You made me realize that you're the only woman for me. Well, I'm going to go upstairs and check on her. Miguel. I have to see Miguel. Hi, honey. Do you see? What a surprise. Yeah, I had to stop by to pick up some health forms for the high school. Getting geared up for the baseball season. Right. So you were calling Julian Crane? I had to reschedule the board meeting for the new hospital wing. So you talked to Ivy? Briefly. Well, it sounded like you were having trouble with her. What were you asking her to drop? Uh, what? I thought I heard you say something about drop it. Oh. Drop what, honey? Well, she admitted to me that she was not going to give up on trying to get Sam. Oh. She's obsessed. So now you see that Sam is innocent here. Sam loves his wife. And he would never do anything to hurt Grace. Oh, I'm totally convinced, TC. Believe me. And Ivy is nothing but a two-faced bitch. Whoa, hold on, sweetheart. I don't think I've ever heard you speak like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. A woman just really gets to me. Babe, it's okay. I don't blame you for being upset. You thought Sam and Ivy were having an affair. And you reacted like any good friend would. I know if Julian Crane was trying to wreck my family or my marriage, there wouldn't be any harsh words. I would make that man suffer. I would tear him limb from limb. Hello? Now? reach you for hours. Don't you think we should come to some sort of agreement as to how to go about this? What exactly is going on here? Anything? Uh-uh. She can't have gotten that far. Are you kidding me? She could have left the building by now. Easy. 
We're gonna have to search the neighborhood. This woman could be dangerous. We can't take any chances here. We'll find her. Okay, well, as soon as I finish emptying the last slots into this cart, we'll comb the place. doesn't think if with my command the charity is working. Or is it? Well, there's no way to move Wayne around to find out. keeping her. She said she was coming right down. I can't wait to see the look on her face when she sees my surprise. Maybe she'll have a surprise of her own. <laughs> like what? Well, to tell you the truth, Miguel, I've been really concerned about Charity's behavior since she got home from the hospital. I know you don't want to believe it, but I think she's had a major reaction to the experimental drug. I mean, it's really affected her, her personality. I'm kind of worried. Well, what do you think's wrong with her? Well, I'm worried about what she's going to do to you, Miguel. Okay. No, I'm serious. I saw this thing on TV one time about these people who really changed from certain drugs they were given. It was like dramatic chemical rewiring. I swear, it was like Jekyll and Hyde. What? What is it? Charity. I knew it. I knew you had the scissors. Charity, what's wrong? Miguel, don't go near her. Charity? Why'd you scream, Kay? Charity? What are you doing with those scissors? Um, I don't know. You know, I realized this morning that I'd carried them up to my room and... Well, I was just gonna return them to the kitchen. I'll take them. They're so beautiful. You like them? And Grace must have been so happy when she saw all of these. Actually, they're for you. What? I brought them. For you. Oh, Miguel. I... Simone, she is definitely up to something. I guess now I just have to try and locate that bird statue, see if it'll make Charity go crazy again. Will you forget about the stupid bird statue? I just don't understand what happened to it. Someone must have taken it. Oh, look. At the time. Um, I've got a ton of things to do. So I will see you and talk to you later. Bye. Where did that bird be? I was hoping to speak with Dr. Russell on there. About what? The rescheduled board meeting. Oh, I wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> I've never been wrong about you before. You have fulfilled every nasty expectation I've had of you. T.C., please. No. Your family took my family's farm, just like they take everything else in this town. But I got news for you, Julian. Your family will never hurt my family ever again. You understand me? I had nothing to do with your family losing their family. Save it, it Julian! Years before I was born. Do you think I'm interested in your phony explanations? Honey, TZ, please, calm down. And another thing, do me a favor. If you need to call this hospital for board meetings, don't bother my wife. 
I understand. Well, you damn well better. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Sam and I have agreed not to tell Grace about our past. Things like this always find their way out. Sam won't say anything. Grace met a friend in the psych ward. And she told her how she'd become unraveled when she found out about her husband's infidelities. <laughs> of course, Grace is convinced that the same thing will happen to her. Even though she can't imagine Sam ever being unfaithful. Sometimes I think it might be better if Grace knew about you and Sam. He was involved with you long before he met her. So involved? Pilar! Sam loved me. And I will get that love back. But until I do, I just have to be a little careful around Julie and keep things normal. There'll be no split-ups, no broken homes. I'm not going to leave Julian. Sam's marriage won't crumble. All that will happen is that Sam and I will have a love affair to end all love affairs. And our spouses need never know. But Mr. Crane already suspects you have a long-lost love in your past. Yes, if he ever finds out it's Sam, I will have to do whatever it takes to stop him from telling Ethan, which is why you can see I need proof about Julian and Eve's past. And what if there isn't any? If it's not true? Oh, it's true. I saw it in her eyes. Oh, Julian will dismiss it as the ravings of a troubled girl, but Eve... I can tell in her eyes. Oh, she'll cave if she's pressed. She'll tell all. Oh, Timmy's. Timmy needs a picture for her, Timmy's. <laughs> Timmy can't go in there without Tabitha. Fluffy! That darn cat will rip Timmy to shreds! <sighs> Timmy will just wait right out here until Tabitha gets out of that loony bin. <sighs> if she gets out! Search this alley up, down, and sideways. We'll find you. No mistake, lady. You can't control secrets. As I've said before, they always find their way out. Not always. Please, Mrs. Crane. I'm just asking you to think this through again. You almost lost everything when your past with Sam was almost revealed. Don't go looking for trouble. Leave Dr. Russell alone. It'll only devastate her. I don't want to destroy Eve. I only want to use her to get to Sam. Honey, are you okay? Yes. You just look a little upset. I do. Is it because of that little run-in we had with Julian? No. No, uh, not at all. I'm fine. I just... Hold me, T.C. Oh, sweetheart, I love you. You know that, right? I love you, too. Mm. I'll give you a call later on to check on you, okay? Mm. We need to talk. I can't be seen with you, Julian. Wait. Ivy told me about Charity's hallucinations. I know. I talked to her earlier. She also spoke to the psychiatrist about the validity of Charity's hallucinations. She's like a vulture picking away at a carcass. This thing isn't dead, Julian. Not by a long shot. She's obsessed. She's possessed. Ivy won't give up till she finds the truth. Well, with us talking here like this, it won't be hard for her. You're certain there's no proof of our past? None. Unless you kept the old photos. No, no. I got rid of them years ago. 
Well, the only other person who had them was Orville. And how he got a set. But they're gone, right? I told you, Julian. The bird statue was destroyed in the fire. If Kay finds out I have you, I am dead. Why do I even get myself involved? What is it about you? What do you do to charity? Something inside. There's got to be something inside. Don't ask. How could you? You asked. Timmy waits and waits for Talitha. Timmy falls off health, nearly breaks his neck, and Talitha has the nerve to go out and buy a hat. This isn't a hat, you moron. This is garbage. <laughs> Orange rind, cantaloupe, spaghetti, trash. You say that again. <laughs> If you think you've had a rough day, try being a magnet for half-chewed hospital plat du jour for a few hours. <laughs> Don't you play the martyr with me. <sighs> Tabitha? Please say you'll never leave Timmy again. Timmy missed his princess. You did? Timmy can't hack it on his own. Same goes for me. Come here, you little pipsqueak. Give your princess a hug. <sighs> so, tell me, did Timmy complete his mission? Oh. <laughs> did he make sure that the brat knew she had to kill Miguel? Huh? Tim Tim? Well, well, what? Timmy told Charity not to kill Miguel. How could you? Don't you realize how little time we have? Are you trying to ruin me? Is that it? No, Timmy, you... Uh, if Charity doesn't kill Miguel before she gets her full powers, then her premonitions will develop and she'll level us, Timmy. <laughs> What did Timmy and Delta do now? We have to pull Charity to the dark side, come hell or high water, and soon. We're running out of time, Timmy. We're running out of time. So how do you feel? A little weird. You think it might be the, uh, experimental drug? I mean, Kay was kind of worried that it had some kind of effect on you. Well, I definitely feel different, but it's nothing I can make out clearly. It's probably just a reaction to what you've gone through. You'll be like new in no time. I hope so. You're so good to me, Miguel. Miguel! Miguel, where are you? Miguel? Nothing inside you anyway. Charity just had some kind of allergic reaction to your varnish. That's all. <sighs> Daddy. Hey, Sugar Bear. What's that? Oh, just some piece of junk I found. I was wondering if something was inside, but I can't even get it open. Well, let me see if your papa can work with it. The only proof of our past were those photos in the bird statue, a statue destroyed in a fire. Then we have no reason to worry. So if there's no proof, there's no way I feel ever find out. All we have to do is stick to our story. Deny the whole thing. When in doubt, deny. That's always worked for you, hasn't it, Julian? Why can't we be friends? We can never be friends, Julian. Just get that straight right now. All I want is for this fiasco to be over. It is. It's over. There's no proof. There's no proof, there's no case. It's a dead issue as far as Ivy's concerned. It's not Ivy I'm concerned with. I'm worried about TC. Oh, 
He didn't even know you then. Well, it doesn't matter. Even though you and I were involved before I met him, those photos would still drive TC to madness. Well, your husband may be violent, but he's not insane. He wouldn't do anything stupid. TC has more than a few reasons to hate you, Julian. Not only because my family took his family's farm. <laughs> Don't ask, I'll never tell. Third floor. Yes, um, I'm calling... Well, actually, I was wondering if anyone's seen a statue of a bird over there? Or maybe just know someone who's seen one? I'm sorry, a what? A statue of a bird? I'll take that, nurse. Hello, it's Dr. Eve Russell. Who's asking about a bird statue? Things are happening in Charity's life at a faster and faster pace, Timmy. And I'm almost as helpless to stop her. Her powers are growing. Uh, she's already proven her powers by picking up vibes from that damn bird. Who knows what will happen if she directs her powers at us. What did Timmy and Tell do now? We've got to make sure that she kills Miguel. It's the only way. <sighs> Question is, can we make it happen in time? <gasps> what have I done? What have I done? <sighs> Charity, what is it? But you... What? You were... I was what? This is no good. Charity, what's wrong? I'm no good for you, Miguel. Char what, what are you talking about? I really don't think we should spend time together anymore. In fact, I really think you should just forget about me altogether. 